Mr. Cool advertises as the only true DIY systems when it comes to mini splits installing them yourself. That is a complete lie because EG4 does offer the DIY solutions that people are looking for and they go a step further and have multiple uh, products that you could put solar directly to them and you don't even have to have it connected to the grid whatsoever. So you can run your AC and your heater from an EG4 system and you don't have to have an HVAC technician come out and put a coolant in it because the way that these work are that they're pre-charged and they have a line set that has uh, pre-charged and the outdoor unit that's pre-charged. You put everything together, you open it up, and it's good to go. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video today. Most of we're gonna be focusing on this 12,000 BTU unit, but I did also install this 24,000 BTU unit in my main shop area. I'm gonna start off with showing you how I put the template up here, and then we're gonna move into the install for the 12,000 BTU unit. Both of these installs are identical other than the wiring. The, and I'll get more into that later into the video, but I'm definitely gonna be showing you the wiring on the 12,000 BTU unit. But the only difference is that has a neutral wire that you're gonna be hooking up, where this one has two uh, hot wires that you hook up. And both units were completely installed by me only. I had absolutely no help. So it was one person did the complete install. But if you do have an extra hand, that would be nice, but it's not necessary. I wanna show you that these are completely DIY installs and you can do it with one person with no problem. I had absolutely no problem. These are not hard units to install. There is a couple things that you need to note, but other than that, these are true DIY self-install mini splits. And both of these units are capable of cooling and heating this entire space. And it's not a good idea to turn the heater on in the summer, just like it's not a good idea to turn the AC on in the winter. So today I'm going to be focusing mostly on the AC and probably in future videos, I'll give you an update on how it performs in the winter. And before I get started, if you're interested in EG4 products or these mini splits, I'm going to have links in the description below to everything that I have in this video today, the 24,000 BTU unit and the 12,000 BTU unit and even 9,000 BTU units uh, that are not uh, connected directly to solar. So it really depends on the solution that you're looking for, but I would highly recommend these. I've been using these for over a month now, and I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. But I did want to point out that I'll have those links in the description below if you want to check out the cost of these or if you would like to order one directly from Signature Solar. You first want to hang the indoor mounting bracket and drill your line set hole to the side using the provided template. And if you're 16 on center, you can put this right dead in the center of this one and you're not gonna hit the stud or you shouldn't hit the stud because this is laid off at 16 center when I did it. So I got one stud here and one stud right there. So the distance between the center of this bracket and the edge of this, you should be fine if you've got 16 center. Be sure to level it. Next, I use a long bit from the inside to find the center of the hole the outside and use a two and five eighths hole saw to drill a hole. Then I wrapped the lines in the power cord with the provided vinyl tape and I started fishing the power cord out to the outside. Once you get to the line set, take it a little bit easier. It'll fit perfectly. Just take your time and be careful not to damage the lines. Once you have pushed through all the line set, you'll need to place the indoor unit on the bracket and properly seat it. It took me a little bit of effort to get it in, but it wasn't difficult. This part you wanna be very careful and not bend your lines too quickly. You don't wanna crimp them. Take your time and slowly bend them downward towards the outdoor unit. This is what mine looked like. Next, I straightened out both lines so that I could connect the indoor unit to the outdoor unit. Now I'm gonna work on connecting the electric cord between the outdoor unit and the indoor unit. So 
So as you can see, everything is clearly marked, so it's almost impossible to mess this up. I bought a six foot 12 gauge whip. That's what I'm working on getting connected. I also purchased a 60 amp AC disconnect switch for both the 24,000 BT unit and the 12,000 BT unit. Here I'm just running the 12 gauge wire into the disconnect box. All outdoor units require a disconnect within six foot of the unit, so keep that in mind. Although I connected the ground here, there was not a place to connect it in the unit. I'll show you that in just a moment. Since this is a 120 volt system, the white neutral is connected to the white side and the black hot was connected to the other side. The extra red wire was not used. I used a 12-3 wire. Save yourself some money and get 12-2 wire for your 120 volt system. In my setup, the red wire coming from the unit in the whip will act as a neutral. I could not find the whip that had a black wire and a white wire, so I had to get a black wire and a red wire. Once you get the wires connected, just put everything back together and pull out the disconnect bar. Connect the black wire to the L connection and the red wire to the N connection. There's no place for a ground to be connected, so I left it open. Next, I work on connecting the line sets to the unit. Then I tighten all the connections and insert the pins to help prevent anything from backing off in the future. And now all you need to do is open up the coolant and it couldn't be any easier. Then connect your AC disconnect, turn on your dedicated circuit breaker, power on the unit using the remote, select the heating and cooling mode and set the temperature. This thing's running so quietly that you can't hear it outside. I was skeptical about this, but it's true. It's so quiet, you can stand right next to it and you can barely hear it. And as you can see, installing these units isn't hard at all. It just takes a little patience and a couple hours of work. And I've had both units connected for over a month and it's been extremely hot this summer, over uh, 95 to 100 degrees for weeks over weeks. And the power consumption on these are extremely low. I don't have these ones hooked to solar panels just yet because I'm powering this entire shop off of Blue Eddy's AC 500 and I don't need that. But if I decide to do something different, I will be hooking these to solar but currently my solar system is charging the batteries and the batteries are running these. But I will put up here to the left to show you the energy consumption on 
95 to 100 degree days in a 2,000 square foot shop with 12 foot ceilings. All this makes a huge difference on how this is going to perform in your space. Because if you've got eight foot ceilings, it's totally different than 12 foot ceilings or 10 foot ceilings or 16 foot ceilings. So you got to take those things into consideration. But the energy consumption on these are extremely low. They're extremely quiet and they're very affordable. So I highly recommend EG4, uh, the solar units or the non-solar units. And I'll have those links in the description below. I did purchase these with my own money. So this is a as true as a review that you can get. And I did install them by myself and I wanted to show you guys that and share it with you. So if you found this helpful in any way, be sure to like the video by giving me a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you got any questions for me. I hope to catch you in my next video.